Psalm 145, verses 8 through 11 says, The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and great in mercy. The Lord is good to all, and his tender mercies are over all his works. All your works shall praise you, O Lord, and your saints shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and talk of your power. Note these attributes of God. God is gracious. God is full of compassion. God is slow to anger. And God is great in mercy. 1 Chronicles 29.11 says, Yours, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty. Indeed, everything that is in the heavens and on the earth. Yours is the dominion and kingdom, O Lord, and you exalt yourself as head over all. I want to encourage you. Count your blessings. I want to encourage you to never take God's goodness for granted. Ask yourself, where would I be if God never loved me unconditionally? Where would I be if I was never truly forgiven? What would have become of me if God had never saved my life? Where would I be if the Lord left me alone and in the hands of the enemy? If God took away my health, my family, my life, where would I be? These are difficult and scary thoughts. Because if it wasn't for Jesus... The truth is, I don't know where I'd be if it wasn't for the Lord, if it wasn't for his grace, his amazing grace. I'd still be blind to his love and his mercy. I'd still be lost. So saints, we need to be thankful. Thank God that he's a father to the fatherless. He's a protector of widows. Thank the Lord Jesus Christ that he is the friend that sticks closer than a brother. He's a savior to those who are lost, a healer to those who are sick, a redeemer to those who are condemned. Now, I really believe that from this type of mindset, a mindset that fully appreciates God's goodness and God's blessings, we should move from the what ifs that benefit us and look to serve God. We should begin to have a desire that says, if only I could lead more people to Jesus Christ. If only I could be of service in the body of Christ. If only I can walk in the will of God and walk in a way that is pleasing to Him. If only I could live a life that glorifies God every day. This should be our only desire. To live a life that's pleasing to God and to live a life that seeks to serve him. So always be thankful and remember 1 Chronicles 16 verse 34. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good for his loving kindness endures forever. It's a dangerous thing to simply get accustomed to God's blessings and begin to take them for granted. And so I encourage you today, let your prayer be, Lord, let me never become lukewarm. Let me never become a half-hearted Christian, but may your fire burn brightly within my heart. Furthermore, I want to warn you that it's a dangerous thing to fail to be thankful. Failing to give thanks to the Lord is a sign of an unrepentant heart. Failing to be thankful is effectively taking God for granted. Now, when was the last time you prioritized giving thanks to the Lord? When was the last time you genuinely were grateful for God's hand being over your life? John 3 verse 16 is a verse that shows just how deep God's love is. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, 
but have eternal life. Now, let us pray. Lord, you are all-knowing, all-seeing. Where we are in distress, we look to you for help. When we are in danger, we look to you for shelter. In all things, in all situations, we look to you and you alone. Psalm 68 verses 19 and 20 says, Praise be to the Lord, to God our Savior, who daily bears our burdens. Our God is a God who saves. From the Sovereign Lord comes escape from death. Thank you, Lord, and all praise be unto you, because you are a God who sets the captives free, a God who defends the helpless and strengthens the weak. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on our families and on our homes. Save us, Lord, from the clutches of the enemy. Do not let us or our children and loved ones be destroyed by the devil. God, don't let us be overwhelmed by the afflictions of life. As we wait on you, Lord Jesus, we will be still, and we will know and acknowledge that you are God. You're the one who deserves to be praised. We trust you, Father, to handle our cares. We trust you to take care of our tomorrow. You're in control, Lord. May the Holy Spirit help us to realize this, that you are truly in control. In this life, Lord, as we pass through deep waters, be with us. As we pass through the fire, Lord, be with us. Victory belongs to you, Lord Jesus. Enable us to live lives that are filled with gratitude and praise, despite whatever it is that we go through in this world. You are our helper, Lord Jesus, the only one who can uphold each of us with your righteous right hand. Whatever we need, we trust you to supply it. You keep us secure, Lord. You are the answer to every challenge and every difficulty in this life. And God, we praise you right now for always being there for us. You're always looking out for us. You're always loving on us and protecting us. And God, we praise you because you're a God who forgives all iniquities. We praise you because you're a God who heals. You're the God who restores and makes us whole again. We praise you because you are the God who has saved us from destruction. You've shown us loving kindness and you've issued tender mercies. I will bless your holy name as long as I live. I will lift up my hands and praise only you, Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit, help me. Help me to have a heart that is continually filled with praise, so that when things are good, I'll bless the Lord with all my soul and all that is within me. I will praise his holy name. And then when life is challenging or difficult, I will still bless the Lord with all my soul and all that is within me. I will praise his holy name. I praise you, Lord Jesus, because you are the one who can quench my thirsty soul. You're the one who faithfully loves me. You're the life giver. And you alone are the one who can make me feel new and refreshed again. It's in your presence, Lord, that I'm made whole. I praise you because of your abundant and unfailing mercies. Father, I bless your name for listening to this prayer. It's in the mighty and precious name of King Jesus Christ that we pray and give thanks. Amen. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, 
for his loving kindness endures forever. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Praise be to the Lord, to God our Savior, who daily bears our burdens. Our God is a God who saves. From the Sovereign Lord comes escape from death. Psalm 145 verses 8 through 11 says, The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and great in mercy. The Lord is good to all, and his tender mercies are over all his works. All your works shall praise you, O Lord, and your saints shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and talk of your power. Note these attributes of God. God is gracious, God is full of compassion, God is slow to anger, and God is great in mercy. 1 Chronicles 29.11 says, Yours, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty. Indeed, everything that is in the heavens and on the earth. Yours is the dominion and kingdom, O Lord, and you exalt yourself as head over all.